right, so I got the two and a half inch stage four suspension lift from Tom's Bronco Parts. I'll put a link in the description below. Uh, but you can see all the pieces here uh, laid out. And you can see that there is the uh, 14 piece bushing kit. I already installed this on my Bronco a couple years ago, but I'm a big proponent of doing a complete kit. So I'm gonna install it, but I'm gonna skip ahead to the shock hoops and springs. If you haven't checked out uh, the bushing video, go ahead and check that out. Also, I picked up this little Torin six ton bottle jack because my uh, floor jack is dying. I also bought another floor jack. I will put the link in the description below to get this bad boy on Amazon. Like I said, it was like 20 bucks. Height wise, 18 and a half inches versus about 17 and a quarter. The new shocks are definitely um, uh, about an inch and a quarter higher than uh, the old shocks. Man, someone should tell me not to wear running shorts while filming my videos. <laughs> you gotta remove this old shock tower, then you gotta remove these old shock mounts, and then this just goes nicely in there like so and you weld it into place so I feel like I've got this uh, bottom edge pretty well cut out down here um, I'm, I'm gonna try to just knock it with a hammer and see if I can bend it out We interrupt this uh, scheduled program for me to go get a haircut. That's better. Definitely gonna have to do some welding. Patch that in. Locking it up, seeing how it fits all together. Looking pretty good. Still just got clamps on there. Haven't welded that in yet. It's looking good. Note, uh, probably not the best to use cardboard while welding to block things from fire. Um, and uh, you know, the cardboard's just blocking my EVAP tank, which runs into my fuel tank. Um, so there's that. Pretty much done there. I, I'm, I'm not gonna show you my welds because I'm a terrible welder. We 
got these plates in place. We got the shock um, bolted in at the bottom. It's way easier to uh, to get the shock in, get the the bolt in there, and then go up to the top. And what you want to do is when you're up at the top, you actually have to pull it down to get the uh, to get the bolt to go through there. Bill Steen recommends that you always install the shock so that their logo is facing the right way. So uh, boot at the bottom for these. And uh, this is the bigger shock of the set. The smaller set, uh, or the smaller shock goes in the back. The, uh, the big one goes up front. And also, I called Tom's just to ask them, and they said, make sure to put the shock in the frontmost hole uh, if you're just running a single shock. So I'm just doing a single Bilstein, but I wanted the shock hoop. All right, so now we gotta get this bad boy in here, which is the biggest pain in the world trying to uh, trying to get all this in. Actually, this part is the biggest pain in the world because you gotta get the spring in here. It's just, it's a nightmare. I just got it. 